here in the booth, sitting alongside Corbin Harrison. Well, Corbin, basically, we've got six skaters in the lineup out here this afternoon. They're going to get to skate the exact same course that we saw the pros earlier today in the Street League Selection Series. And uh, these guys submitted videos, and uh, they were picked by the Red Bull people in order to compete here. And these are the six skaters we're going to see out here this afternoon. I mean, it's pretty amazing that they can be out there skating that same course that the Street League guys are. I mean, only minutes ago we had Nigel Houston out there and uh, Paul Rodriguez, so yeah, it's crazy. There's the judges right now, Joe Brzezinski there, Steve Caballero, like, it's a heavy hitting lineup. I was going to say, you got Steve Caballero sitting in the booth. That's a legend right there in the judging booth. So the way it works, it's an 18-minute jam session. These guys are going to run in order. The, uh, the runs are 45 seconds in length, or if you have two falls, that'll end your run early. And basically, it's the best score that counts out here. And uh, those were the three judges we just saw a shot of that are going to be uh, taking a look at the action out here today. We've got uh, Ramon Clemente, Yuri Pacini, Will Flores, Ben Sauer, Tyson Bowerbank, and Jonathan Cosentino. And again, they had literally hundreds of videos that were submitted to Red Bull. And uh, Red Bull picked the top six and brought them here. They did this not just for skateboard. They also did it for BMX Street, which is going to happen later on this afternoon as well. But uh, here we go. We're getting ready to start it off here with Ramon Clemente. Again, 18-minute jam session. They run in order, and here we go. Straight into it with a lip slide. It's a good start. For sure. I mean, it would be just so amazing for these kids to be out there on the same course that the, their heroes are. That's a tail slide, 180 out there on that flat bar. Yeah, you know, the only thing too is they didn't get a lot of practice. I mean, they just wrapped up the street league session. Wow, look at that. Oh. Into the 50-50, very tech. Back tail as well. Straight. This is a great run to start off. I mean, these, these guys have got to be nervous too. Uh, yeah, nerves, <laughs> no practice. And uh, just from my prior experience of competitions, it never is fun being the first guy out of the gate. They're probably standing up there next to Nigel, Paul Rodriguez, all these guys going, I can't believe I'm standing here. So, I mean, that was a great run for Ramon Clemente to start it off there all the way from Spain. It's a kickflip 50-50. Solid, solid run. Didn't fall off at all. That's definitely what he wants. This jam format allows everyone to really sort of get a solid run under their belt and then push forward and try and get something. Uh, I'm a fan of the whole jam format best run counts. I think you get the best skating and riding that way because like you mentioned before, potential nerves, potential jitters, you get out there, especially when you're the first guy. If it doesn't go right the first time, you've got a couple other chances to get out there and make something happen. But uh, Ramon has set the bar early here in the Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street Final. You see the uh, clock there in the upper right hand corner of the screen, the one on the left, obviously the jam session clock, and the one on the far right, that is the run clock. So a 72.66 for Ramon to start it off. What do you think that Jim new judges that were taking a bit, a bit of time there? <laughs> What's going on? I'm not going to tell Brzezinski. Steve Cavallero to hurry up. Yeah. He's earned he, he's earned the right to be up there. Maybe I need to talk Joe, uh, text Joe Brzezinski and say, come on, buddy, let's uh, let's hurry up with these scores. Uh, you know, they want to make sure that they get it right. True. Sure. Diligence up there. True, sure, true. Sure. They, they want to give these Skate Street Phenom guys their, uh, their comeuppance here. So score in there again for Moon. 72.66, but coming up now, this is Yuri Pacini, who's on course for 45 seconds. Oh. Going for a frontside nose grind there and just jumping off. Unfortunate start for him. Good amount of speed going into that. Just looks a little nose heavy. Wow. Oh. Front one to fake you down the rail. And again, you do get two falls, so two falls will cut the run short. So he's got one here. Salvage the rest around there. He comes back. That front side nose grind puts it down. Where is he going now? There. Let's see. Oh, for the big section. I think it out behind that quarter pipe. There's a little bit tight. Oh, 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 hard flip. Wow. Down the stairs. That is solid. That's a good way to come back after the fall. Yeah, a bit of a shaky like start, but he's, he's definitely uh, come back after that. Look at it. It's the replay. Oh, I mean, that's 
that's something that you see all the top guys that, that, that do. So, I mean, these kids are coming straight out and bringing everything, for sure. So what do you think score-wise? He had to fall early on, but he did come back and finish big. about the fall, obviously, he's going to hurt if he gets that 52. But again, it's a jam session here. It's the best run that counts on course right now. This is Will Flores with that backside tail slide. Looking solid straight out of the gate. Oh, lip slide. It's looking good so far. It's a solid run. Well, so far, everyone, uh, the first three guys that we've seen in have uh, had pretty solid runs here. Coming up on the 22nd mark. Going for a nose manual. And body just going over the top there, jumping off. Well, time winding down for this run. He'll have a chance to get one and maybe two more in. Front side nose grind trying to revert out of that. So two falls, that'll end the run short right there. I mean, 18 minutes goes pretty quick, doesn't it? Once everyone's having it. It goes really quick. Especially uh, when your first couple guys are having uh, pretty much full pulls at 45 seconds. It'll eat up some time in that 18 minute jam session. This is Ben Sauer taking his first here in Red Bull Phenom. Oh, nice. That was cool. Backside Smith grind. Kick flip manual. Look at this run. Fan of Smith grinds, especially the backside Smith grind. Oh, isn't it such a good looking trick? It's, a, it's so stylish. And now taking it the other way, front side coming down the rail. 360 flip. This is a great run here for Ben Sauer. If he can hold it together here for the next 22 seconds. Lip slide on the exact same bar. Dylan Reader was doing backside, lip slide, shove it out. Just about 15 minutes ago in the last heat of Street League. Wow. Ben Sauer is getting tech here. Into it. So the high mark so far is the 72.66 that we saw out of our first competitor, which was Ramon Clemente. As we take a look at the replay, I believe this is the I, Smith to start it Oh, off. that was stylish. He's got a great style, this kid. And there you have it. He's up on top. Right here at the end of the run there, 85.33. So he's over 10 full points ahead of the previous leader. This is Tyson Bowerbank on course right now. Backside nose grind starting off. He's looking solid. Kick flip over the rail. I haven't seen that one yet. He's looking solid so far. I mean, this course looks so good, doesn't it? They do such a great job. Tail slide and revert. Just uh, can't quite hang on to that one again. You get two falls. So he gets to keep the run going here. Just a couple of seconds left. We have time for about one more. And that'll do it right there for round one for Tyson and Bowerbank. Take a look. This is the kick flip over the rail. Caught it really high there, too. Solid catch. He started off quite smooth. Well, again, you know, it's, uh, it's still got 12 minutes to go. We've got one skater left to go in the rotation. Then we go back up to the top of the order. The key here is it's the best run at that count. So you mentioned this earlier. Get one out of the way. Get something solid down there. At least if you have a fall, get out there and put down, you know, a couple of tricks. But uh, this is uh, Jonathan Cosentino. I mean, these guys must, must, must be watching Street League. And you watch Niger and all these guys. They, they know what they're doing every single time. They know exactly what trick they're doing. What point? And you know, I've spoken to like people like Ryan Sheckler as well, and he knows if he needs to step it up, he just changes one trick from a kick flip to a 360 flip at one spot. But they know every single trick and where they're doing it. With Jonathan Cosentino having some trouble there in round one, two falls ends the run short. So we go back up to the top of the order here for Ramon Clemente, who is currently sitting in the second place position here. Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street. So 45.66 there for Jonathan Cosentino. So obviously looking to throw that one out. Again, best run counts out here. Red Bull Phenom Skate Street. Comes Ramon again. Going for Smith grind there, but unfortunately just coming off. He locked onto that thing and just kind of hopped off there. Maybe wasn't feeling it. it. Looked pretty good when he locked onto the rail, but obviously didn't like it. 
does that tail slide. Revered out, 180 out, falls on that one. So you hear the horn, that ends his run. It'll bring back up Yuri Ficini. So we're uh, coming up on the 10 minute mark here of the jam session. A lot of speed. And nails that front side nose grind, which he missed in his first run. I like the speed, I like the style. And there we go. Wow. That was stylish. He holds on to this, he could definitely get in the number one or two position. He's got the tricks. So this is the run that he wanted the first time around. Unfortunately, just coming off there, half cup nose slide. See what he finishes up with here for this last 12 seconds of round two. Trying to hit the big section. Wow, going for it. Not enough time. Well, you know, if you put all that together, Corbin, I mean, that could be, could be a pretty solid run. It could be a contender here. Look at this. Front, front. Blunt. Wow, it's a fakie. Look at that. It's 180, yeah, the 180. Wow. And I mean, he was moving going into that one there. Will Flores, back on course. Will's got that first round score of a 50. Looking to change it up here. He had a couple falls there in that opening round, so looking to hold it down here for 45 seconds. There's that board slide again. Going for a nose manual. Unfortunately, he's jumping off. Was it the nose manual that did him in in the first round? It was. It was. So you see these guys pretty much so far going with the same line they had in the opening round. That's the one he missed in the first run. Backside spins grind on the ledge. Just running out of time. A little bit of redemption there on that nose manual. Probably get one more run in these guys after this. One, maybe two. Maybe two. Depending. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to walk the plank and say they'll probably get two more in here. If time does run out when we're in the middle of the run order, they will finish out the run order so all the competitors get the same amount of scores, or same amount of runs, I should say. Ben Sauer trying that backside Smith and getting hung up. He's got leader right now. 360 flip, manual. It's got all the tricks going on. Yeah, you know, and I like the style too. But again, I, that run's going to be a toss away for him. He's still got that 85.33 that we saw in the opening round. So that'll bring back up Tyson Bowerbank. I mean, that's a huge lead as well at this point. Yeah, he's, uh, what, he's over 10 points ahead of uh, Ramon Clemente. And then you've got, uh, actually, Tyson's actually sitting in third right now at 66.66. .66. Front side only there on the quarter pipe. Backside nose grind. Pushing for a lot of speed to get to the other side of the course. What's he going for here? Using the ledge with the Smith grind. I like the speed that this guy's got around the course. Yeah, definitely at a quicker pace than what we've seen some of the other competitors do out here so far. Backside Smith grind. So he's taking it front side and then taking that trick backside here in this run. Definitely the fastest man around the course so far. <laughs> oh. Hangs on to that and uh, that's the buzzer. That's going to be a full pull right there for Tyson Bowerbank. Stopping a little kick flip at the end. There's the Smith grind. Across that whole ledge. No one has hit that ledge yet. I thought this one was going to slip him up, but he hangs on to this one at the end of the run. So an 86.66, and he is on top. He is overtaking wow. the lead from Ben Sauer. I wasn't sure how that was going to go down. And wow, look out. Jonathan Cosentino. Started off pretty solid here. And front side flip over the rail. We've only seen a kick flip so far. Oh, oh. He's hung up on the nose slide. He might have been trying to like maybe Nolly heel flip out of that. Maybe that's why he fell off or his weight was off. Backside tail slide. Yeah. Kick flip nose manual. Dude, in the, in the it's a solid run. Yeah. I think he's got a little bit of a 
flat spot where it can he roll does. Oh. Down here and roll across the course. Kick flip, front side board slide. Trying to get another trick in, but just won't. That is time. It's going to be tough. I mean, it was a pretty solid run, but he did have that one fall. This will be interesting to see what he gets scored here. He ends up with a 78 on that one, so that's going to put him in uh, podium position. He's got him in third right now as we go back up to the top once again with Ramon Clemente. If he gets his, if he gets another run in, which he there. will, he could quite possibly, if he doesn't fall well, off, move up yeah, one he, or two spots. If he could stay on for the whole 45 seconds, he could definitely challenge for the lead with the caliber of tricks that we saw in the beginning of the run. Oh. Going for a kick flip 50 50, it kind of landed in feeble position. We're just under five minutes left to go here in the Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street Jam Session. So they'll definitely get through this runner. The question is, will we get back up to the top of the order and give them one more chance? Landed the front side flip over the rail and then had trouble up. Just out of time, going for key flip. Did you see him? He was moving there. He's like, I want one more. I know there's a couple seconds left. I'm Move getting one more chicken way. before that horn. <laughs> I mean, it's just such a great experience for these kids to be able to skate this course. So your top three as of right now, Tyson Bowerbank sitting in the lead, and Ben Sauer sitting in second, and Jonathan Cosentino sitting in third right now. Here comes Yuri Pacini. So we're just under four minutes left here in the jam session. Starting off with the same line with a frontside nose grind. Into the frontside one side of Fakey. Oh, just can't hang on to it. Just gets dumped over on that one. He was just holding on to it the last two runs as well. But it's a great line. He just hasn't been able to put it all together. Yeah, if he, if he got it all together, he definitely would... Uh, up that score and I'm sure he'd be in uh, one of the top three positions. Uh, the question now becomes with the time winding down here as we're rapidly approaching the three minute mark, will we get through this run order? Once we've gotten to the bottom of the run order, there has to be more than 30 seconds left on the jam session clock in order to go back up to the top and start over. Welcome to Los Angeles, day two of four out here. X Games Los Angeles 2013. We are here for the Red Bull Phenox Skateboard Street Final. We are here in the waning moments of this jam session here. We're under four minutes left to go. Six skaters in the lineup. You guys were all handpicked from hundreds of video submissions that were sent in to Red Bull. And right now, your current leader is Tyson Bowerbank with a score of 86.66. This is Will Flores on course right now. Going for a lip slide there and coming off right on the buzzer. Uh, just got two minutes left, and this looks like this will probably this will be the last of the run order here. Because uh, I know I'm not the greatest mathematician here, but with uh, two minutes left to go here, 45 second runs, these guys will take us out of there. Oh, you're order. pretty good. You're pretty good. <laughs> Smith Grind on oh, Nolly heel flip, trying to. Run around and get another trick in. 23 seconds. Oh, wow. Ben Sauer stepping it up. He, know, he knew he needed to step it up this run. And he's got to hang on for 10 more seconds. Oh, oh is is unfortunately, just coming off. He's definitely got that second position. Is the Nolly heel flip. Really getting around the course. Unfortunately, couldn't get it together the whole time there. I think if he'd landed his run, he could have taken back the power and had uh, the number one position. Well, here is your number one position. This is Tyson Bowerbank. That's big front side on there. We're under a minute. Stylish backside nose grind. Getting much of speed on that flat bank. 
He's going to go for that Smith grind lining it up on that ledge and does, but he loses it, slides out. Again, you get two falls, so that's why he gets to continue the run, so that's just one. Oh, wow. Front side board slide. I'm looking into a hurricane there. Nose manual. 180 out. Wrapping up this final run here. Not going to be enough to overtake his current top run score, but still a nice way to finish it off after the fall. There is the backside nose grind. Currently in number one position. Well, here we go. It all comes down to this last competitor. He's got the skills to do it. We have yet to see him really put it all together here, Corbin. This is Jordan Cosentino. It comes down to this final run here. Can he overtake Tyson Bauer? Well, he started off really strong. No heel flip, board slide. And then a front side flip over the rail. This is a flawless run so far. If he holds this together, he's definitely got the tricks to, to beat him, for sure. Backside tail slide on the ledge. Just under the 20-second mark. Kick flip nose manual. This is a solid run, and if anyone's going to do it, he's going to take that number one position. Kick flip backside. Oh, yes, oh, just coming off. That is, is going to hurt him for sure. And that is going to do it. Time runs out here at the Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street Jam Session Final. He was knocking on the door there, Corbin. He was oh, pushing it, it was right so, there in the end. so, so close. All he needed to do was just hang on for that last nine seconds. But, I mean, he was going for it. Just coming off. His feet weren't on the board probably. Just, just coming off. Unfortunately, there is the winner. Wow. He has got to be stoked. Doing it on the X Games Street League course. Amazing. Well, let's throw it down to Jackie Montgomery for an interview with our winner. Tyson Bauer Bank, your winner of the Red Bull Phenom. What was this experience like for you? Um, it was a surprise. I didn't even know I was coming until Monday and they called me and invited me and then flew out the next morning. So I didn't even know it was going on until then. Getting, getting to skate this course where the professionals were just on it and now you just skated on the same exact course. What was this opportunity like for you? Uh, it was exciting. I'm stoked you got to come out. It was a fun course and there's lots of my homies here, so it was fun. All right, Tyson Bauer Bank, your winner of the Red Bull Phenom. Guys, we'll send it back to you. Well, great competition here for Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street and uh, Corbett Tyson Bowerbank hangs on. Jonathan Cosentino, he was knocking on the door, but Tyson hangs on to get the win. Pretty good for a guy that didn't even know he was coming until not too long ago. I mean, awesome. He came here Monday. Red Bull flew him out. It was a great contest. These guys have got to be psyched that they're on the same course as the X Games Street League guys. I mean, it's amazing. And the talent here in this contest was, was up there for sure. So that officially wraps it up for us here at Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street. As we mentioned before, hundreds of video submissions and the Red Bull people, they picked these six skaters. Congratulations to all of them for making it out here to compete at X Games LA. But a big shout out going to Tyson Bowerbank taking the win out here at Red Bull Phenom Skateboard Street.